Welcome to the show. Take that stupid sign off. <laughs> okay. I'm Sharon. I'm Susie. And boy, oh boy, have we got different ideas about a lemon pie. I love lemon pie. It's my favorite. I have made it homemade. But the way we did it at Thanksgiving, Mom and I, I would make the lemon pie. I had an old, even flow um, glass measuring cup that we used <laughs> because I would make uh, two or three of them and so then we needed like four cups of water or whatever so I had this big Where was jug. I when you were doing all this stuff? You were a teenager so you were like running around you weren't like at home <laughs> baking pies you probably baked pies earlier with mom or not? Never. Do you want to know something? And I was saving this to tell you mom would never let me she would let me bake and cook she more let me cook Oh, okay. and anything I wanted, uh, I wasn't interested that much in baking, but I asked about a pie one time and she says, no, pies are too hard. Oh. She never, I never baked a pie until I left home. Well, this way I do it, anybody, grade schooler could do it. So this could be a kid friendly recipe <laughs> that I have. So I'll show mine because my pie will probably be ready for the meringue sooner than hers is all. Um, ingredients in her bowl. Okay, so I'm gonna start. So I, I gave the recipe for the meringue. Um, we had lemon meringue pie day a week or two ago. Anyway, um, I gave the recipe for it. And so what I use is the cook and serve, whoops, jello. Um, this is what I used when I was a kid. The recipe to make it as a pudding. Well, you, didn't, you didn't even make it the right way to begin with? Huh? The first time you made it, that's what you used? Yeah. Mom yeah. used to make it that way? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, she didn't make it from scratch. <laughs> she maybe made the crust from scratch, but she didn't make the, the, the <laughs> filling from scratch. No, I, I tried that later on. But um, anyway, so what, what you do is you open up your box and you dump it in there. <laughs> this was supposed to be for kids. You're going to have to bleep that out. I don't know if anybody heard it. Okay, and so then the directions are on the side for the pudding, and that's the directions I use. It's going to take two egg yolks, but because I want a little higher meringue, I'm going to use three egg yolks. So I'm going to, you could, you're going to use eggs too, so you might as well separate those. And this is probably where I got in the habit of putting them in a bowl separate. And oh my gosh, I got that, that uh, shell mashed. Anyway, so you put the eggs in there and you know, you use this thing like, like a cup. And then um, I'm gonna use three eggs. What, how many eggs you use? Mine calls for three eggs. Okay. And these eggs have been um, warmed up a little bit. You wanna have room temperature eggs for your meringue. So take your eggs out. Um, you don't need the egg yolks to be heated up, but you're gonna use your egg yolks in the filling. And so for mine, um, you take and put in your eggs into that powdered jello mix. And then the recipe calls for a half a cup of sugar, but I use only about a cup, or not a cup, a quarter cup. So I'm using less than half because I'm trying to cut down my sugar. And then Sharon had some zest left over from her pie, so I'm gonna throw that in there. That's normally, I don't put that in there, but you're perfectly fine doing that. And there she's gonna get every last bit. And so then the direction says to take a quarter cup, and Sharon's got this nifty little gadget she wants oh, to use. I love it. You can, it has three pour spots, plus it has a lid, so you could mix up dressing or whatever. And, and you then, know what? I'm left-handed, and that's why I like that. Because you can pour it from I any direction. I can pour it from any direction. So anyway, I'm going to go over here and switch the, the camera so you can just see a little bit of the... You just take and stir this around. You don't want this on the stove top yet because your egg yolks could get stringy. So you're mixing that around. We'll switch it back here now. And then now you add the rest of your water, which is two cups. That's why I had that big even flow measuring cup. So now, mine is all ready to go to the stove. Sharon's gonna talk about what she's gonna do, and I'm gonna start cooking mine. Okay, I've got a saucepan here, a cup and a half of sugar, one 
third, one third cup of cornstarch plus a tablespoon. So whatever that is, I measured that out. And uh, just mix that up in there. Get that going in there. Okay, then I will also be moving to the store. Store? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to move, move to the store and buy a lemon pie. <laughs> <laughs> and no. she's out, and so we have our crusts here too. Already. I'm using a pre bought um, graham cracker crust. <clears throat> she did use a pre, pre bought crust that, but always when you use that uh, Pillsbury refrigerated crust, roll it a little thinner. Otherwise, it's too thick of a crust. Right, and we have a separate little video that we just did an outtake of that, so we won't go over all that. But, um, so now mine is, is just cooking. You put it over medium heat, and you're gonna bring it to a boil. And now okay, are you gonna I'm move to the stove? I'm moving to the stove. Okay, not I'm the store. The stove. Okay, so then we're, I'm gonna put it on there. So hers is the white powder. Yep. You turn that on before you add your eggs, huh? You've never gotten stringy eggs where it got too There's hot? There's a trick to doing that. I'm going to gradually stir in a cup and a half of water. No, there's a trick. You, you temper the eggs. You know what that is? It's when you add just a little bit of the... Oh, yeah, it's cotton. like when you yeah. do with cornstarch, yeah. Yep. I didn't know the name of it. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Whoa! Whisk down, <laughs> whisk down. <laughs> okay, we're going to stir this, and then she's going to get the rest of her ingredients on there. Well, there, this here eventually. I have to stir a little bit. Yeah. And so I did mine all, all over on the countertop and then mine on the stove here is gonna thicken up. And uh, it's, like I said, mine's on medium heat. Is yours on medium? medium? Yep, yep. Mine's on medium heat. And I'm gonna go take a break. <laughs> oh yeah, she always likes to interject that. Yours is done? No. No. I gotta twiddle my thumbs while she's still adding ingredients. This is mom's way. She was late. I can't too. believe that she did that. Well, she you know, our grandmother good. used to make them on a cook stove with yeah, the wood Yeah, but burning. did she? I bet she didn't no, use jello she, pudding. No. Well, no, jelly pudding was. Well, jello pudding was really popular in the 60s. Remember, everybody was making those weird uh, salads with the jello and jello pudding. Weird and... red strawberry jello with bananas. <laughs> yeah, but remember the ones that had the cabbage? Slime? Oh, I like those. Oh, gross. Oh. Aunt Leona used to make those. And yeah, I like those. those. And when I liked Aunt put... Leona's cooking, but yeah. I didn't like <clears throat> Some of them. She used to make the pumpkin pies, remember? Yep. She'd come with a car full of pumpkin pies. How many was there at Thanksgiving? Okay. Okay. Uh, we went kind of off the camera for a minute because you didn't need to sit there and watch this come to a boil. It's kind of like watching grass grow, right? Paint dry. <laughs> Paint dry, yeah. <laughs> boil the water. So it's been on here a couple minutes and mine's coming to a boil. You can see yep. it popping. Yep. And so you just turn it, um, con or stir it constantly like that, and then we're going to turn it off. She still hasn't gotten her eggs added in there. And mine's ready to go into the shell. And I think, La -dee -da. <laughs> and I think I'll be making the meringue. And, uh, well, and that's good because I needed the... You need the mixer. Uh, I need the mixer, but I also need the um, oven at 400 for my meringue. Oh, well, let's turn this up then to 400 because you'll be first. Right. Yeah, I'm going to be first because mine's done. Okay, so there you see it. That's all it is. And then, I think we should take these to the lake and have a test. Taste, oh, yeah, test, taste test they to can see taste, which, who test. likes what better. And so I'm going to get hers more on, focused on there, and I'm going to get mine in my we shell. We should taste test our lemon pie and our barbecue. Yes. We made barbecue or sloppy joe sloppy joe's yes 
And so um, my uh, my burner's turned off, and I'm moving over here. I'm gonna just well, I'm gonna put it on the other camera here. Well, I so um, I have my pie crust here. I'm gonna bring it in a little closer. And all you do is pour the pie crust or the lemon in there, yeah. filling in there. And then I will be moving to making the meringue, but I'm gonna let you watch her. Oh, her mine her. isn't boiling yet. Yeah, well. Like I said, mine's fast. <laughs> I'm all about fast. Microwave it. If it tastes <clears throat> good or halfway decent, then it's fine. You know what? I'm going to recommend that you be retired if you're making this lemon pot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm retired and I enjoy cooking, so prep work doesn't bother me. This doesn't bother me. And yeah, I like to cook, then be done, jump in the pool, play with the grandkids, do whatever. I like to move on to something else. I have a... Mine sugar. is boiling now. Oh, good, good. Let's turn it over to hers. Okay. Hers is boiling. But, 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 it's for a minute. Now I have to stir it constantly for one minute. And then I take a little bit and put it into my eggs. Susan, you should watch this in case you ever really wanted to learn how to make a lemon pie. <laughs> well, I didn't make mine like that either. I didn't put the eggs in there when it yeah. was like that. Okay, it's been about a minute. Eggs. So I have whisked in half of uh, the filling into the three egg yolks and it is now going to go back into the kettle like so so the eggs anyway, are all uh, I'll go back here you stir this for two minutes Okay, so um, I'm going to put my meringue on, on mine, and she, she said she made a little glitch when she was... Yes, I forgot to tell you about the three tablespoons of butter. So, make sure you add those three tablespoons of butter. But what I did, I cut them up into thirds, and I put them on there, and while it was still warm, waited for it to melt a little bit and then I just stirred it in there just making sure not to scrape or scratch the bottom of the pot and it worked so now I'm off to make my meringue which is the same recipe as Susan's but yeah, of course I, mine will look nicer <laughs> no I don't know about that but any well it might because I usually use a small bowl I use a different mixer I use the mixer that my mom and I used to make meringue when I was a kid and I remember other people trying to make meringue when I was growing up and they could not get their meringue high but I looking at this now and I think I used should have used four eggs I usually use a bigger egg too at home and so you, what you want to do is just take and kind of um, peek up your peek up your meringue and then um, we're gonna pop it in the oven and brown it. Um, mine's 400, and I just do it by looking at it, how um, high it is. So this is Sharon's. We added two extra eggs, and as you can see on the beaters there, they're stiff, stiff peaks. Stiff peaks. Stiff. Yeah. 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 Stiff. See, he's getting it on the camera there. Yeah. Yeah. That's the stiff peaks. Oh, yum. Don't make a big mess. <laughs> Susan likes to lick the beater, so we'll hand these to her. Boy, yeah, that's... and I'm going to get my pie out of the oven. Yes. Ooh, ooh. So I started out at 400, but I did turn it down to 350 because that's what Sharon needs. And so there's. We under the sun. Oh, my that pie. looks beautiful, Susan. So there's my pie. 
I don't want to try and get up close to the camera. Yeah. I'll probably drop it. <laughs> I can lick the beaters while she okay. does the brain. I'm going to show you something. I like, I'm all about the presentation. And I'm all about eating. <laughs> She's fast. all about fast. Like I said, you don't want to make... And what the, one of the things that we didn't get on the camera is that we added two extra egg whites to hers because yes. my mine wasn't high enough. I usually use more like extra large or really large eggs. And so that is probably why mine is not quite as high. And mine is... I need a spat. Can you hand me one? Um, now, when you make a, a pie with meringue, you have to make sure and cover... The filling, you have to seal that filling in there. Yeah, otherwise so make you're... Make sure you go to the edges. Yep. Just like that. Okay, I'm going to show you a cute, cute little trick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and like I said, my pie, you wait till you retire because there is nothing fast about it. Here's another... Basket. When I was younger... Look at this. Look, yeah. look. Yeah, yeah, that looks good. Is it warm? Can you hold it up? Yeah, and this is what you just go around. You're gonna tip that thing over. She used a little baby spoon. Baby spoon. Make make some curly cues in there with the baby spoon. And this is I kind of did little sock peaks. See? Yeah, mine are stiffer. Yep. And like some people, you actually even take a torch there, use the, yeah. use a torch. And what I like about it is then just the little stiff peaks will be a little browner and a little crispier. Right. Yep. Very good. Mine's ready for the oven. Little spoon used for that. Yep. 350. Going in the oven. How long do you know? Uh, I think it's I think it's like ten minutes. Let me double check. Twenty. Twenty minutes. Yeah, and mine's already twenty done. to twenty-five minutes. Mine's already done. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Smarty pants. Oh, I just broke my marrying though by squishing it. Well. There, isn't that cool? Yeah, it looks good. Let me lick it here. Lick the next one. Okay, here's our pies. This one's Susie's, the super fast one. This one's Sharon's, the very pretty one. <laughs> pretty or fast, you choose.